Magandang araw, YouTube! Yo, yo, yo! So, today, we'll learn about yung effective mask natin para malaman natin paano ba napupuo ang mga holes sa isang semiconductor. So, una, ito ang formula natin for an effective mask. Effective mask, M star, is equal to H bar squared over the second derivative of energy with respect to K or the wave number. Alam natin from your math, 54 or 53 or 22 or 23 or kung anumang math yun, that the second derivative is just the curvature. And E versus K, this is your EK diagram or your energy dispersion diagram. Comprende? Comprende? So now, let's look at an example. For a free electron, Alam natin ng energy dispersion relation niya, or E versus K relation, looks something like this. This is a parabola. And this parabola has an equation na ganito. E is equal to H bar squared K squared over 2 M naught, where M naught is the mass of uh, an electron at rest. Getting the second derivative of that, punin muna natin first, dE over dK is equal to H bar squared over 2 m naught. Kasi constant sa'yo, walang mangyari dyan. And K squared, ang first derivative niyan is 2K. Canceling 2, we get this one. Second derivative, d squared E over dK squared. It's just the derivative of this one kanina. Derivative of K is just 1. So we have h bar squared m naught times 1 or m star will be equal to h bar squared over h bar squared over m naught. Pareho sila sa taas at baba. Cancel. Mag magkakaroon tayo ng 1 over 1 over m naught or we just get m star is equal to m naught. Ibig sabihin yan that your effective mass for a free electron is just equal to the rest mass of the electron. But in cases in which hindi na free electron yung electron natin, uh, meron na siyang ibang energy dispersion relation, mag-iiba na rin yung effective mass ng electron mo sa isang semiconductor. So take for example, itong example natin. So assuming that the energy dispersion of a band in a semiconductor can be expressed as E is equal to AK squared, where A is equal to 84.67 A squared times electron volt, uh, where, sorry, angstrom squared times electron volt, calculate the electron effective mass in this band in units of free electron rest mass M0. So we know that M star is equal to H bar squared over the second derivative of this energy dispersion. Yung second derivative nito, D squared, AK squared over DK squared, second derivative nyan is... A, 2, 2A. Two so we get M star is equal to H bar squared over 2A. Pero kanina, sinabi dito sa problem, in terms of free electron rest mass M naught, so essentially we'll just divide this by M naught, where M naught is the mass of an electron at rest. Uh, M star over M naught, we get ito. Substituting our values, get this one. M star over M naught is equal to H bar squared. H bar squared over 2 times A. Yung A natin is this one. And you have M naught or the mass of an electron here. Solving for this one, we get M star is equal to 0.045 M naught or the effective mass effective mass is equal to 0 0.045 times that of the rest mass of an electron. So, dito nakita natin na nag-iiba yung effective mass ng electron natin sa isang semiconductor. And yung curvature ng ating band diagrams are not always positive. So, dito, ito, positive yan. So, pag positive yung curvature mo, nakatingin siya sa taas, kasmel siya. Paano pag nakasimangot na siya? Pag nakasimangot na siya, negative na yung curvature natin. 
Pag negative yung curvature mo, this will become negative, then your effective mass will be negative. If negative siya, we have the existence of what we call a hole. So a hole is just, uh, we can view it as an allowed energy state that is non-occupied by an electron in an almost filled band. So in this case, dito, let's say itong band na to, this valence band here, is puno ng electrons. Pero meron tayong mga electrons na umakyat sa conduction band. So parang nangyari is may natirang holes dito. Natirang holes dyan. So ang response ng ating hole sa applied external electric field, so kunyari meron tayong, meron tayong valence band ito. This valence band here. Ito siya. So, meron tayong fully, uh, almost fully filled na band. Meron tayong isang hole dyan. Let's say we apply an electric field going to the left. Electric field going to the left. So, alam natin that opposite charges attract. So, yung electron mo will tend to move towards the positive side. So, yung movement nyan, oh, gumalaw. So, electron gumalaw sa kaliwa ay sa kanan. Tapos, si yung butas na walang electron, parang gumalaw siya pa kaliwa, pa negative side. So, continuing, we get this and this. So, instead of considering the movement of all of these electrons, of all of these electrons, we can rather just view the movement of this empty space here. So, this empty space is what we call a hole. And in here, we can view holes as a positively charged particle. So, this is your so hopefully naliwanagan kayo dito. Until next time, mga amigo, thank you!